What is up you guys, there's Savo Reigns with another review of the ASG BNT GL06 standalone grenade launcher. So yeah, we have the box. This is actually a pretty colorful box compared to the other boxes that are just a boring cardboard box. There are some guns like the uh, like the JG Scorpion and the G and G guns that are pretty colorful. But this one's nice. I mean it has a carrying handle. Uh, the G and G guns, or I guess boxes have carrying handles, uh, B and T. Grenade launcher, grenade launcher, <laughs> another grenade launcher. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend like um using this to like walk down the street or whatever. I mean, unless you're like having it in the back of your van for like games, which is probably what I'm gonna do. But I've put different accessories on this, so that's why I don't really even have it in the box. But in the box, I do have the um, instruction manual, and you can see um, the padding that is really nice. So your gun will not get damaged at all. There's also a slot for a uh, shell. So if you wanted to carry your shells in there, you could. And you can also take out this little foam piece at the bottom. And then carry an extra shell. But if you're only carrying one, then you can put that little, I guess, I don't know, cover, whatever, back in. But yeah, nice box. So here is... A grenade launcher. First, we're going to go over the manual. And this uh, grenade launcher is $150 on evac.com, which is pretty good because the other standalones that they have, well, I mean, they have like the MGL, but that's like, that's $130. But then you have to buy like six grenades if you wanted to have it full, so that's pretty expensive. But yeah, this one's $150 on evac, which is a pretty good price for standalone. And then I kind of went overkill with buying some other accessories for it. So like I uh, got AFG X Team rail covers which I already had, uh, Bravo 552 which I had on my MT49 but I just took it off for here because I'm gonna buy another one and it looks a lot better on here. And then I have another X Team and uh, like those little I don't know their brand they are uh, just the the single rail covers because I couldn't fit another one because when you fold the stock. Um, it's not able to fit when the stock's folded because whenever I carry this, I carry it in a, um, a giant dump pouch as my holster because they don't make holsters for them. I mean, I don't like they make holsters for like the S Thunder like pistol grenade launchers, but I wanted to get something bigger because I wanted a stock on mine. And yeah, it fits perfectly in there. And then I carry a one point sling, which there are sling attachments here here and then let's see if we open the stock I'm pretty sure that if you get a QD mount you can put it here here and here so if you wanted to do a two point you could put get two QD mounts one with the rail and one without and then put one on the back of the stock and one more like that there and then you could do a two point if you wanted to have it on your back or whatever but yeah uh, this gun is pretty heavy, and this, I don't even have a shell in here, but to open up the action, a little shell, there's this button right here, and then your, uh, the brake action will open, and then you can load in your shell. This is a Matrix 22 round shell, um, the best shells that I've ever had that actually work. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what else can we do. There's the um, there's the front sight and the rear sight. Obviously, these uh, the stock sights are really nice, but you I mean you're not really using sights. You don't really use them airsoft that much. Besides like snipers, um, uh, safety. So it would be white, it would be on safe. Red, it would be on obviously fire. And you might be able to see it. Hold on one second. All right, so I got my NC Star flashlight. So yeah, you can see. GL06 caliber 40 millimeter and then uh, B and T which is pretty cool because that's the license thing. But then sadly on the other side uh, come on, I gotta hold this here. if I can get that. Well, anyway it says uh it has ASG and then caliber six millimeter BB which still makes me mad because why can't they just leave the 40 millimeter on there? But it's probably like law or whatever. Law. Now, uh, speaking of law, this comes with a giant orange tip. But what you do is you get like, uh, like pliers, like needle nose or whatever pliers you have, and you go around the entire orange tip, 
and then like keep pulling inwards and then it will eventually either it all come in one piece or it'll just pop off and then you have like an inner ring on the inside and then just get a flat head and a hammer and you hopefully will have like a little lip somewhere and then just stick the um the flat head in it and then hammer it in there and that'll break the seal around it and then you just pull that out and yeah it was pretty easy I mean, it took me like 20 minutes to do it but it's not that bad and here's the um quick detach foregrip that you can get with the gun that you can put either anywhere I mean, upside down <laughs> yeah that's about it um it's a really nice gun definitely worth the money if you were wondering about it. you know i mean it's a little bit more than like um say like the undermounted grenade launchers i think like the echo ones echo one ones are like uh, this, the stubby one, which is that, what I have, is like $90, and then there's like the, um, the full size, which is like maybe 100, 110-ish, and then there's like Mad Bull ones that are like 200, but yeah, this is a really good, um, standalone grenade launcher, so yeah, if you were wanting one for whatever reason, middle sim, outdoor, indoor, whatever it was, definitely recommend picking one of these up, um, I really like it. And it's nice. It's you know the quality's good. It's licensed by BNT. You get a really good box with it, and just all the the stuff that makes you know a gun good. I don't know, gun grenade launcher, but it's still a gun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this really quick review. We'll see you guys next time.